First of all, they are musicians. They have an accurate ear for harmony. They work very hard. They have a lot of patience and they take advantage of the trick, which granted electronics makes possible, that you can record one part of a song and then you can play it back to yourself. And then you can accompany that part and, and keep on recording. That I think is the basis now quite seriously. They, they work, they have a setup which is nothing more than tape recorders in their own home. And in fact, they are uh, working day and night. We just grab them because they have their own television show. But maybe they've got time to tell us less how you really make your record. Starting at A and moving slowly on to B. Seriously? Seriously, right. on the level. Uh, we turn the tape machines on. They're just a standard, regular uh, Ampex tape machine. Mm -hmm. And uh, we play the first part on the guitar. All this right. is the rhythm part. Goes, uh, now, uh, could we hear that back? Yeah. Just I'll to be sure there's no, have some no trickery here? Yeah. Yeah. Now you can hear that on here. That sounds practically the same. Almost. All right. Now, now, what do you do? <laughs> you, uh, now you, you put your earphones on and you play another part to it. Is that That's right? That's right. Now, I see. Uh, put these things on. Now, uh, let's see. All right. I'll play the second part to this. Yeah, they're both on. All right. I right. see. Now, could we hear those stages back and then you maybe ad-lib something to it live? Uh, like, like the finished product? Yeah. All right. I mean, I'll, just... I'll play a drum part like that. All right. And add that on. Fine. All right. Say when. When? <laughs> I get the idea now of the background. That's the background. Right? That's the background. But as I recall, there are uh, about a dozen or twenty voices come in there. Now, where, who's the voices? That's Mary. You mean they're all Mary's voices? Mm -hmm. Well, Mary, would you show us how you uh, put twenty voices in a record? Okay. Or put a few. Let's let's start. Okay. Let's get your. I'll start with the uh, lead part first. Right? Yeah. Now, pardon me. Okay. Just uh, you play this all this to Mary. Is that right, or does she? Do it separately. Well, Mary will hear the part that's already made, and then she sings on to it. I first, see. First, first I'll we'll make the first part first. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. All set, Mary? Mm -hmm. Give me a G chord. All right. Somewhere there's music, how faint the tune. Somewhere there's heaven, how high the moon. Right. Now, now I'll add a tenor part to that. All right. Wait a minute. You're on. Somewhere there's music, how faint the tune. Somewhere there's heaven, how high the moon. Well, how long can this go on without getting awful confused in your head? <laughs> it's pretty confused. Being cued by your husband. <laughs> well, uh, would you like to hear the third part? Yes. Alone. Yep. Oh, I see. And he'll record it, and then we'll put them all together. Fine. Somewhere there's music, how faint the tune. Somewhere there's heaven, how high the moon. You see, don't sell that part short because uh, we send that over to Arabia and we can't even <laughs> fill the back order. It's just a lot. Yeah. Well, in this country, it's mixed up. You have to have a lot. I mean, this is magic, but it's, uh, it's also very profitable. It's magic, magic, isn't it? I hear. <laughs> a million records. How many did you sell of this one? How high the moon? About a million and a half. Oh, please. Can I well, you've got to work part? some more. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> you sold a million and a half. I'd ahead. like to put them all together and add an obligato. Fine, in the same key, right? Same yeah. key. <laughs> okay. Somewhere there's music, how faint the tune. Somewhere there's heaven, how high the moon. Well, that's absolutely terrific. Can we now uh, hear what the whole thing back sounds like? We, we know just everything heard you've it. done. <laughs> This oh, but you were doing the obligato yeah, to everything. Complete. I see. Anybody can do this. Well, I was just thinking, uh, an idea occurs to me, which must certainly occur to a lot of people uh, out front there, which is this. If you have a tape recorder and a mic, and you feel in good voice, why can't I do it? Do you sing? <laughs> Are you moving in? <laughs> that's it, that's it. Th this is a, a challenge. Do you shall, can I try something? Sure. I have some cheap tape here that you can <laughs> watch. Fine. 
Well, I tell you, there is a uh, an uh, unaccompanied quintet in the uh, in the Mikado, a madrigal. And uh, why don't I try singing the melody and then the bass, tenor, and so on. All the parts. Just like Mary, but not musical, okay? okay. You don't play the guitar. No. <laughs> right. Uh, You're all set. Uh, yeah, I'd like a chord, if you don't mind. A chord? I'd like to know what keeps singing it. C sharp. Then you're going to need me later, huh? <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Brightly dawns our wedding day. Joyous are we. Give thee greeting. Whither, whither art thou fleeting? Now, if I hear that, maybe I can sing the bass, huh? You're going to put the air on? Are you on? trembling if you see those royalties going down the drain? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you mind if I take mine off? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're all set. Brightly dawns our wedding day. Joyous are we, give thee greeting. Whither, whither art thou fleeting? How about that? Now look. That's very good. That's yeah, wait, wait. We, you fooled us on your, your atomic energy machine. Uh, we fooled you. We were playing around this morning before you got here. And I did this uh, quintet with six voices, one more than Sir Arthur six. Sullivan. <laughs> Sullivan didn't think of that. And maybe if they'll play back that rehearsal record, Bob, uh, you'll hear these six voices, all the cooked version of the madrigal from the Mikado, and I'll put in a seventh, just like me. Brightly dawns our wedding day, joyous are we, give thee greeting, whither, whither art thou fleeting, la 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 now, very good. Have, have a contract? I th I think that you, this this would go good with some record company if they wanted something for an album. <laughs> That is the standard insult, you should know, among <laughs> professionals. They say if something won't stand alone, you can always put it no, in an seriously, album. No, it, seriously, it's, it's very good, isn't well, it, Mary? Yes. Uh, let's, uh, <laughs> we, we have various things coming up, and we'll spare the compliments. What occurs to me when I hear that back is that the, uh, it sounds like uh, three or four very hoarse choir boys and a couple of broken down tenors and a man who got lost in a fog. You're in other words, the, um, it's just not, it's not got the balance. The thing that strikes me about your records is you put in I don't know how many tracks. And it just sounds like one tremendous guitar or two. But it doesn't sound like 15 or slightly off like me. Thank now, you. how many tracks, what's the most tracks you've ever made? Well, the most that we've put out on the market uh, is 12 guitars and 12 of Mary singing. Does that mean 24 tracks? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <coughs> could you play that back to us and maybe put in a 25th? Sure. Just to earn well, it'll actually be... Uh, 26, because Murray will sing one and I'll play one. That's 26, the key, 26 tracks of How High the Moon. Uh, 26 right. parts. Right. 26 uh -huh. parts. All right. Recording. Well, parts. Take it away. <laughs> All set. <laughs> Thank you. 